Guys, quick intro to today's video. A couple of days ago, I did a quick talk about my my recovery from from training, how I recover, and what products I use. I talked about this my protein recover fuel, and this wasn't a promotional video. It wasn't a sponsored video. It wasn't any form of advertising. It was just me being open, being genuine about what product I use that I paid for with my own money. However, this morning I got an email from PBK saying, hey Cam, we saw your video uh, with the My Protein product. We actually sell those and uh, we, we like that you like those products. We wanted to give you a discount on, on that product. They said we wanted to give you and all your viewers a 35% code off this particular uh, recovery product. And they're also giving us 15% off any other My Protein product. All the details and like the, the, the codes and stuff are in the description. Check them out. I'm just passing on information. I've actually just ordered a five kilogram uh, bag of this and 35% of that was about 25 pounds. So it's an absolute, bargain for recovery powder. But yeah, I'm just being the messenger and passing on information. I guess now we can start the vlog properly. Good morning, welcome back to today's video. I left Georgia's house yesterday because she was going on holiday. <laughs> Are you videoed? Do you want me to carry it? Okay, I got it. And I'm back home today riding in good old Lancashire. It's an absolutely stunning day. And it's actually supposed to stay like this for the rest of the week. And it's unfortunate now that there's no racing on this weekend. So to keep that race form there, to keep that leg speed right up, I'm gonna do the, uh, the well, I'm gonna do a couple of crits within the next few weeks. They're always a good workout, uh, the Thursday night crits. Tonight is Thursday, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna race tonight. So I'm out this morning to do about an hour and a half to two hours with some openers, just to turn the legs over and loosen them up before racing this evening. And also because this weather's too good to not ride in. I live uh, pretty close to the countryside regions, shall we say, of Lancashire. And at, at this time of the year, farmers are putting a lot of uh, a lot of cow manure in the field. They're doing a lot of spreading, which means the roads are just full of cow. Sh I mean, today's not too bad because it's dry, and all the cow hard and, and it doesn't stick to your bike but you can imagine if it rains one day or there's a little bit of uh, morning moisture your bike gets covered in cow <laughs> Alright, one hour 30 done with some openers for this evening, now I'm just uh, at the cafe. I've met up with Dan and Maddie at the cafe now and we're going to get some lunch. <laughs> I don't know how you zoom in. Just twist it. Oh, I'm on it. No, I'm not. Is that zoomed in? It is. It feels Watch like it's it. going to fall down in a minute. Because it's fat. Yeah. Well, I'm twisting something that I don't think that is zooming in at all. Twist. I think... What is that jersey? Bio racer. <laughs> You gotta have tan lines. Tan lines are a mark of being a cyclist. Yeah, but you look an idiot, don't you, when you go out at night? They're like a cyclist tattoo. Exactly, I don't like tattoos. <laughs> um, What's that one? This one? Sorry, yeah, I have one there. Can I have two scoops? Can you? Yeah. Two scoops. So what, if you want to... What's that one again? <laughs> What's that one on the back of the left? Could I have that as well, please? <laughs> All right, so we went to get some food uh, and then Dan and Maddie decided they wanted some ice cream so we rode to the ice cream shop. I reluctantly didn't have one, but I'm heading home now. I've been out riding all morning. I need to go back and uh, just, just relax a little bit, take it easy, chill out because I'm racing tonight. It's all good and well riding all day, but you'll go into the race absolutely knackered and I don't want to do that. <laughs> In order for me to bring those super high quality videos when I'm riding, I have to ride around with this camera on my back, which when I'm doing an easy, you know, cafe spin isn't, isn't at all a problem. But as you can imagine, as a racing cyclist, a lot of my training involves intervals. So when I'm doing an interval session, I will do my intervals, you know, first. I'll ride home, grab my camera, and then go meet, go meet my mates at the cafe, which is what I did this morning. So at the minute, I'm just exploring different ways as to how I can make these videos better, how I can improve the quality of these videos, which is why now I'm currently testing this on, uh, 
on my iPhone. I have no idea what the picture quality is going to be like. I have no idea what the audio quality is going to be like. And I'm not saying this phone is going to replace this camera. It just offers a different option. Okay, so you may remember a couple of weeks ago, I was away on holiday in the Lake District. And at the end of my ride, I did a backflip into the lake. I'm not at the lakes today. But my sister has put up this paddling pool in the garden. Oh, that's colder than I expected. Oh. Jumping into water is the best way, my favorite way to end a hot ride. All right, before I head off to uh, Preston to race this afternoon, I thought I would very, very quickly and very, very briefly give my two cents on the whole Peter Sagan saga. I don't need to go through the story now. I'm sure you all are aware that Peter Sagan was kicked out of the Tour de France. Do I agree with it? Absolutely not. The way I saw that and interpreted the replay of that sprint was Sagan was moving across to that right-hand side line. Uh, Cav decided to go for a gap that wasn't there. You know, the elbow thing is a little bit of a grey area for me. He said it was to... It was to sort of rearrange his balance. I think it was kind of partly a bit of that, a bit of shutting the door for Cav. He knew he could sort of hear a rider coming up. So he decided to stick his elbow out just to, you know, disincentivize Cav to, from coming through. It's racing. It's a sprint. They're doing 40 miles an hour. These things happen. At most, he should have been disqualified from the stage. My opinion is they should have just docked him uh, X amount of points in the green jersey competition. That would have just made the race super interesting because... Sagan was probably going to get that green jersey anyway. So if the race organizer would have uh, docked him some points, it would have made the race more interesting, more exciting, because he would have had to play catch up. All right, anyway, I just wanted to share my two cents on that whole situation. I've been sent a light. Hey Cameron, hope you like C-Sense Icon Intelligent and Connected Cycle Light. Intelligent sensor responds to road conditions by flashing brighter and faster. Theft alert alerts you if someone tampers with your bike. Alerts your nominated contact if you have a crash. I've been sent this real light from a company called C-Sense. My initial sort of analysis of this light is it's kind of like a standard real light, but on steroids. I've been playing around with this a little bit. I've downloaded the, uh, the C-Sense app. Now it's asking me to add a crash alert in case of emergency contact. So I'm going to put in this light is now connected via Bluetooth to my phone. And if I crash with this light on, apparently it texts. And it's got a whole range. I'm going to turn this light off now because it's... Wow, it's got a whole range of different features. So as it gets darker, the light gets brighter and faster. I'm gonna put this on my bike next time I'm riding in the dark and I can give you a more a more comprehensive review because at the minute sat in my office, what I'm telling you doesn't really mean anything. Arrived at UCLan in Preston for this evening's crit, and I just need to go and sign on. Just uh, smash it. Smash it. Yeah. Is that, is that the game plan? Yeah. So what are you saying? You need a top three for what? To get cut two. All right. Are you confident? Yeah. Got second last week. Yeah. Yeah. So. One step higher today. Yeah. Good stuff. Rumor has it, Rich, you won the E1-2 race last week. Yeah. How did that happen? Uh, I was sort of saved all my matches for the last two laps and then dropped the hammer. Yeah? Yeah. You were that annoying rider that just sits in the whole race and then just, just hits it at the end? No, I had a couple of digs early on, but I didn't go full full bore. We had two to go, I just uh, felt like a little bit of a trip up the road and managed to get a good gap. And then there was only two in the sprint and I felt stronger than the other lad and I managed to out sprint him and take him 10 points. Hashtag road to first cut. It's going to happen. Only, <laughs> only 156 points to go. <laughs> I'm just rolling out now to do a warm-up ahead of my race, but I'm going to go watch uh, the 3-4 race, see how Josh is getting on. He needs, I think, a top three tonight to move up to second cap.
hard race that. Josh, thank you for filming. It's all right. I'm lucky with the race. I know. Next week. Yeah. <laughs> See you later, pal. Hard fought race tonight. That's what I love about these Thursday night crits. You know, it's just, it's a one hour smash fest. There is not a lot more quality training you can do in just a one hour period than a fast crit. I'm pleased to come away with a third after being away in the break for so long and also after that attack on the last lap. As soon as we got brought back it was a case of just giving it everything I could to stay as far forward as I possibly could. But that's the end of today's video. The form is coming back.